The movie commences with Gwen Stacy, Haley Steinfeld, reminiscing about her past exploits while passionately drumming alongside her friends. Besides her adventures across multiple universes and her encounter with Miles Morales, Shay McMoore, Gwen recalls her deep friendship with her Peter Parker, Jack Quaid, even sharing a close bond with Gwen's family, including her father Captain George Stacy, Shay Wiggum. Regrettably, Peter undergoes a transformation into the lizard due to a serum, leading to Gwen's tragic fight with him during a school dance, resulting in his demise. This incident brands Spider-Gwen as a murderer in the eyes of George, who launches a pursuit to apprehend her. Stricken by loneliness and longing for Miles, Gwen's isolation intensifies. Following a conversation with her father, Gwen picks up police communication and follows George to a crime scene where the vulture, Yorma Tacone, is wreaking havoc. Gwen realizes this vulture hails from a Renaissance-era universe distinct from her own. Her attempt to overpower the villain fails, prompting Miguel O'Hara slash Spider-Man 2099, Oscar Isaac, to emerge from a portal. Although skilled and empowered, Miguel seeks assistance from his virtual assistant Lila, Greta Lee, to summon reinforcement. Enter Jessica Drew slash Spider-Woman, Issa Rae, a pregnant superhero, and together, the trio manages to defeat Vulture. Impressed by Gwen's abilities, Jess suggests to Miguel that Gwen joins their team, but Miguel opposes the idea. George arrives and tries to apprehend Gwen, forcing her to unveil her true identity. Despite Gwen's explanation, George remains resolute in his pursuit. Miguel traps George and equips Gwen with a wrist device enabling interdimensional travel. Gwen exchanges a final glance with her father before departing with Miguel and Jess. In Miles's universe, Earth, 1610, he grapples with juggling his school life and responsibilities as Spider-Man. While his parents Jefferson, Brian Tyree Henry, and Rio, Luna Lauren Valles, consult his guidance counselor, Rachel Dratch, Miles enters a store where he encounters supervillain The Spot, Jason Schwartzman, attempting to pilfer from an ATM using his portal-generating powers. Miles engages in pursuit, eventually subduing Spot by tangling him in his portals to attend his parents' meeting. The discussion reveals Miles has missed several Spanish classes, resulting in a B grade, disappointing his parents. Spot escapes, prompting Miles to leave hastily. Following Spot to Alchemax, Miles discovers it's where Spot's animosity towards him originated. Jefferson arrives and becomes embroiled in the chaos until Miles manages to incapacitate Spot. Dr. Jonathan Owen, once a scientist at the Alchemex facility robbed by Miles and Peter B. Parker, Jake Johnson, unveils that he transformed into Spot due to particles from the destroyed collider. Spot charges at Miles but accidentally propels himself through a portal. Miles converses with Jefferson, attempting to persuade him to let him explore his potential. Spot finds himself in an interdimensional void, encountering various universes including a Lego universe and one featuring Mrs. Chen, Peggy Liu, from the Venom movies. Spot returns to his realm, deciding to absorb energy from colliders in Alchemax facilities across dimensions to defeat Miles. A celebration is held for Jefferson's impending promotion to police captain, yet Miles arrives late due to a cake errand and his crime-fighting duties. Arriving late and missing the toast, Miles faces parental reprimand, leading to a heated argument. While Miles desires to reveal his secret identity, he refrains due to the setting. In his room, Miles encounters Gwen through a portal. Thrilled by her presence, he accepts her invitation despite being grounded. Donning his spidey suit, Miles swings across the city with Gwen. A heart-to-heart -heart discussion on a skyscraper underscores their connection, even as Gwen emphasizes the complications of a romantic relationship. Returning to the party, Gwen's departure and a conversation with Rio prompt Miles to embrace his personal growth. Miles goes invisible to track Gwen to a crime scene involving Spot. Gwen uses a device to reenact Spot's actions, revealing his portal-based power augmentation. Jess contacts Gwen, assigning her to locate the multiversal anomaly, though she advises Gwen to forget Miles. Spot's latest location is traced to a different Earth named Mumbatton. Gwen ventures through the portal, followed by Miles after a moment's hesitation. In Mumbatton, Miles arrives as Gwen chases Spot. Hindered by the lack of a universe hopping device, Miles glitches but still tries to contribute. Habitor Prabhakar slash Spider-Man India, Karen Sony, joins them, bringing his unique skills to the battle. Pavidra introduces himself with the classic, let's do this one last time, line, disclosing his identity as a regular high school student. The group chases Spot to Mumbatton Alchemax, where Spot merges with the Collider. 
Miles attempts to absorb the force field's energy using his powers, and they're joined by Hobie Brown slash Spider-Punk, Daniel Kaluuya, who breaks the force field. Despite their united efforts, Spot fuses with the Collider, amplifying his powers and causing chaos. In the midst of the mayhem, Miles envisions his father saving a child, a vision Spot claims is their future. The quartet of spider people rushes outside to rescue citizens from the crumbling building. Their goal is to evacuate everyone from the bridge and minimize the debris's impact. Pavitter takes action by webbing a bus carrying Gayatri, as her father tries to save a young girl on the bridge. Despite Gwen's attempt to intervene, Miles pursues Singh and successfully averts his demise, while Pavitter saves Gayatri. The grateful citizens applaud the spider people's efforts, but their triumph is short-lived. A portal emerges in the city, engulfing parts of their reality. Jess arrives with her team to restore order and informs Miles that he's needed at their headquarters. Miles unites with his companions and arrives at the headquarters of the Spider Society. The facility hosts an array of Spideys from diverse universes, including Ben Riley slash Scarlet Spider, Andy Samberg, Web Slinger, Tarun Killam, Margot Kess slash Spiderbite, Amanda Stenberg, Spectacular Spider-Man, Josh Keaton, Insomniac Spider-Man, Yuri Lowenthal, a Spider-Cat, and a Spider-T-Rex, Jess equips Miles with a wristband to prevent glitches. He learns about various elements, such as incarcerated villains from different dimensions, including a version of Prowler, featuring Donald Glover in a live-action cameo. Miles reunites with Peter B., who introduces him and Gwen to their daughter May slash, Mayday, born to him and Mary Jane. Miles meets Miguel, the head of the Spider Society, who's upset as Miles disrupted a canon event. According to the Cosmic Order, a police captain in each Spider-Person's universe must perish in the line of duty, often a version of Captain Stacy. Saving Inspector Singh jeopardized this balance, putting Miles's father in jeopardy. Miguel emphasizes that altering canon events can trigger dire consequences. Miguel's pursuit of a universe where he survived led to unintended erasures, including his own daughter. Miles pleads for his father's safety, but the other spider people appear to have anticipated this necessity. They confront Miles before Miguel ensnares him. Miles, however, uses his abilities to break free and escapes, prompting Miguel to unleash all the spider people after him. Amid a chase through the facility, Miles fights off his fellow spider people and creatures as he reaches a train. A showdown with Miguel ensues, during which Miguel informs Miles that he was never destined to be Spider-Man, as the spider that bit him was from a different universe. Miguel blames Miles for the death of his own Peter and for leaving another universe without a Spider-Man Gwen and Peter B's apparent knowledge of this truth wounds Miles further. However, Miles reveals he planned to divert the Spider-People away from the tower and uses his electric powers to dislodge Miguel before leaping from the train. Returning to headquarters, Miles encounters Margot's avatar and activates a machine to return home. Miguel and other spider people arrive, but Margot permits Miles to depart. Miguel penalizes Gwen for her involvement and sends her back, confiscating her device. He assembles a team to pursue Miles. Gwen arrives in her old apartment, where George resides alone. She finds a picture of herself with Miles and nearly departs before George wakes up. They reconcile after a tense exchange, and George gives Gwen a device left by Hobie. She hugs her father before journeying to Miles's universe. Miles, in his apartment, is approached by Rio. He confesses his identity as Spider-Man, but Rio doesn't recognize the term. Gwen visits Miles's room but finds him missing. Miles discovers his uncle Aaron Davis, Mahershala Ali, is alive, implying he's been transported to Earth, 42, the universe of the spider that bit him. Gwen realizes the same before being noticed by Jefferson and Rio. Though mistrust remains, Gwen promises to locate Miles. Meanwhile, Miles partners with Aaron on a job, encountering a mural indicating Jefferson's death in this universe. Prowler then appears and incapacitates Miles. Miles awakens in Aaron's apartment, bound to a punching bag. He discusses his Prowler story, but Aaron denies being the Prowler. The genuine Prowler arrives, unveiling himself as the Miles from this universe, Gerald Jerome. As Prowler Miles acts, our Miles readies his electric powers against the chains restraining him. In Miles's universe, Spot prepares to confront Jefferson. Meanwhile, Gwen assembles a team, including Peter B., Mayday, Hobie, Pavit, and Margot, alongside the return of Spider-Noir, Spider-Ham, and Penny Parker, to rescue Miles.